in the latest polls, support gun legislation, common sense gun legislation, by 69%. They think the gun law should be changed. 90% of them are Democrats, 54% of them are Republicans, and 50%, 54% are gun owners. It is a popular issue, and it's an issue that we can take all the way to the election in November and replace people who aren't listening to the people. No matter what we've done, obviously members of Congress are not paying attention. But today in Washington and in 80 places, across, 800 places across the country and the world, people are marching for gun law change. And we are so proud of what's happening in D.C. So let's talk about what we're in favor of and what we're not in favor of. First of all, I think probably all of us here are do not want to turn our schools into armed camps. We don't want our teachers carrying guns. This will not make our schools safe. Here's a concept, a novel one. Why don't we pay teachers what they deserve instead of paying them to carry guns? <laughs> teachers are there to teach, not to be security guards. So here's what we demand, along with many other things. But let's highlight the important top-line issues that we want change around. We want comprehensive background checks, yes? We want to halt the sale of weapons of war. We want laws that will reduce the size of gun magazines. We want a ban on bump stocks and other devices that increase the killing power of weapons. And there's nothing at all in the Second Amendment that prevents these laws from being passed. Not one thing. States are already taking these steps, and, they, and they're, pro, they're totally constitutional. But we march today, but after the march, then what? We must organize to register people to vote. We must get them to the polls. Who among the students out there are eligible to vote? Show your hands. How many of you are not voters yet, registered voters yet? Hopefully only a few, but get registered before November if you're eligible to vote in November. So I urge all of you to pay attention to what politicians will say when they're running for your vote and then to hold them accountable when they get into office. Yeah. I want to close with, with a, something that, I, a, a sign that I got uh, from Gabby's office in D.C. Yeah. Tilly's going to hold it up for me. And this is a, a message we have to Congress. If this Congress refuses to keep kids safe, we will elect a Congress that will.